Oh. <laughs> okay, I've not seen that happen. He's died from a concussion. Hello, everybody. I'm a girl named Jax with Reactive Gaming, and I want to show you how to get every gold medal long shot in Sniper Elite 5's campaign mode. Let's get started. Of course, going to start at the beginning with the Atlantic Wall. This is a 600 meter shot we need for the gold medal. So let me show you on the map where I am. So let me zoom out all the way here. I am on this westernmost part of the map. I am by these three farmhouses. I'm basically looking to get to this rock wall so that I can aim towards the radar and get the distance that I need. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Just dispatched of this guy, so he wouldn't give us any trouble. Um, and I'm gonna hang a left once I get out of here. So we can start to see the rock wall here. We're gonna go past this building because we're gonna basically have to be behind it in order to get the kind of distance that we're gonna need. And you can see the radar back there. I recommend going ahead and taking out your binoculars to tag them. Because for one, this guy is a little bit hard to see with all these like weeds and stuff in the way. And you can see the distance that you're already at. So I was at 599. I was backing up until I could get that 600 meters, which it looks like we have now. So I can take out my sniper rifle, push in as far as I can. Empty lung. And looking promising. Well, that was beautiful. There you have it. 600 meters. That's how you earn the gold. Yes, Marie. <laughs> mission one. For mission two, occupied residence, we have to make a 525 meter long shot. Um, here on the map is where I am. Again, we're all the way on the west side. And we're going to be... Aiming for just behind the chateau, there's a soldier on the hill there that will give us the distance we need in order to get this gold. So, you can see I'm kind of in this muddy field behind the church. And like usual, I recommend taking out your binoculars and making sure you've got a bead on this guy. And we needed 525, we're at 559, so I feel pretty comfortable. Let's go ahead, get out of the binoculars. He's nice and visible. Oh boy, here comes a truck. Oh, he passed us by, good. Let's go ahead and push in on him again. Empty lung, and let's see if we can have fun with it. All right. Glad the truck went by. Oh, nice. It's my first dog tag kill. But now we get to enjoy the chaos that ensues at the Chateau. And now you have a gold medal. Mission 3 Spy Academy is probably my favorite missions of the Sniper Elite 5 campaign. Because it's one where you can actually start out far enough and you actually do sniping. It's called Sniper Elite. Um, and it's just so beautiful. I went ahead and ran as much as I could to get here to show you how to do this shot. Um, if you see my, my map here, there are plenty of angry people. And here is Fabian Richter. He is the one on your kill list. So you're right outside the room where he is, where you're going to start to go up to where you can get your long shot. So we're going to go ahead and get going on that before we ruin everything. But fly him faster, lady. See, there he is down there. Hi. And still on our way up, 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 up. I know, listen to them. They definitely are on to me. But luckily, we don't have to deal with any of them. Because what we're doing is we are looking for a guy out this window, well out of bounds. He's going to be up on this hill in this little tiny fortification. I think that might be him. Yep. Oh, hold on. Even the slightest little move of my mouse. Hey, 1,841 meters. That would be difficult for anybody. Um, but let's go ahead 
game was nice enough to give us an M1903. And so we're just going to use that now that we have this guy very nice and v as visible as he's going to be. But we're going to take our chances. And going to wait for that to finish up. Center of mass, not bad. That's what they tell you to do anyway. But definitely that poor guy didn't know what hit him. And there, we got our gold <laughs> for the long shot um, for mission three. Here we are at War Factory, and I think you're going to love this one because you can go right in, get the gold, and get out. Now, I'm not even going to show you where I am on the map because I'm right where I need to be here at the beginning. As you can see, this is the safe house. All we need to do is get out of here. And we should be able to spot our target outside. Hey, sniper, Shush. check one of these. No, nope. I don't need a rat bomb. Not today. Hey, you, quiet. Come on. And he's on the roof of the refinery. And he's walking back and forth. So it might take you a second or two to find him. Um, you're just going to be looking for him moving. Any sort of movement back there. And hopefully we'll see him pretty soon. There he is. Yeah, he's patrolling, so he's going to be moving around a little bit, which is going to make it a little bit harder, um, but you just need to be patient with it. Make sure you're using empty lung, get it on the red, so that you don't have to worry about reloading your game because you didn't get him, and now he's running downstairs. Was he already falling down when I shot him? Poor guy. What a klutz. But... We only needed the 457 meters, and it looks like we got 466. So, getting the Golden War Factory is just too easy. You wouldn't believe how many times I've played Festum Guernsey. Mainly because I haven't been keeping track, and you'd know I'm lying. Uh, so, if you have already completed the campaign, or at least this mission, and you've unlocked one of the new starting spots, the countryside house, uh, you can actually just come in to where you need to be in order to get this long shot. So inside, let me go ahead and show you on the map. We have where I am up here. Now we're all the way northeast and we're going to be aiming at a tower here. I'll show you what I'm talking about once I get upstairs. So, not this big hole, but this other big hole. Woo! Hey, and here, right here, is our uh, little gnome friend. And you can actually get an achievement by um, shooting these guys as you find them around. But, that's not what we're here for. Let's go ahead, get our binoculars, and train them on this tower with the eagle on top. So you can get two things at once. But down here, in this little tiny letterbox window, is our guy. Now this is one of our longest long shots. So he's 763 meters away from me. What we need is 675 meters, so it's a little bit overkill, but you can never be too safe. I'm gonna go ahead, switch to sniper rifle. Now, because it is such a small target and it's kind of, ooh, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, but you usually wanna take some time with that one just because he is moving back and forth between two or three of those windows. And again, restarting is no fun, just so you can get this achievement. And there's the payoff. We got our gold medal in Festum Guernsey. Liberation is another mission you might enjoy because we can go ahead and get started, get the gold, go home. Uh, because we spawn very close to where we need to be in order to take this shot. You need just 560 meters, so we're just going to blow past all of our friends here. Um, hey, allied buddies. Good to see you. How are you drinking and talking like at the same time? Uh, I'll ask you about that later, though. I don't have enough time right now. Hey, man. What's up? And so we're going to run all the way till we get to the clearing, but it's not going to be this clearing here. Uh, if you see poppies, you're in the wrong place. Um, we're going to take a left here, and we're going to head to the next place where we can start to look out on the town. Um, 
and we're looking specifically for a church back here. I'll show you with my binoculars. Basically, there's our sniper. It's 575, so that gives us a little bit of wiggle room. I've got my sniper rifle. We're going to push in and empty lung. All right. And let's see. I think this is a headshot and we should be good to go. Nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, I've not seen that happen. He's died from a concussion. Uh, all right. That's a fun one. Yes, c'est magnifique. Uh, there you go. That's your, your gold medal for uh, Liberation there. Mission 7 Secret Weapons is another mission where if you played through before and you opened up one of the new spawn locations, it makes the 500 shot a lot easier. Um, if you choose the Lake Overlook spawn location, which happens to be right down here, you're going to be really close to the castle you need to get into in order to take your shot. You see I'm already here, right by the castle keep, and I've already gotten up rid of a bunch of the guys so that they don't bother us. Um, and I will show you where we need to go exactly in order to take our shot. So I'm going to give you a view from the outside. Here's our castle. There's the castle keep. This is where you need the key in order to get in, or you can pry off the boards on the side and sneak in that way. But what we're going to do is take the stairs all the way up until, excuse me chair, until we make it to the very top and we are going to train our binoculars down at the dam. So behind the spotlight, not you, there we go, is a Jaeger. That's going to be our target. You know you have the right person when you have the little triangle with the like wings in the back. So now that we have him tagged, I'm going to grab a sniper rifle and I'm going to take my time. Empty lung. Squeeze one out. And we are going to have a gut shot. But we also do have our gold and it's time to move on to the next one. Mission 8, Rubble and Ruin, is the last real mission we're going to have in this campaign. Uh, what we need to do is get up high for the shot, but luckily we don't have to go very far from the spawn point. And I'll show you what we need to do here. Um, so here I am, spawned in, basically going to run around till we get to the point we see some of these Nazis around a fire. Now maybe I'll start to go quiet. Oh god. Alright, I might have been a little noisy. But let's go ahead. Start taking them out. Hopefully I'm far enough back that they won't give me too much trouble right away. And... Where are you, sirs? Pay attention. Listen. Hey, listen, I have something to tell you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, where'd you go? Ah. All right, and there's just, I think the officer left, right? Who's gonna give me a hard time if I don't get him? Sorry, guys. Stick with me here, hey. Sorry. That one wasn't as great. But, we're at the house. We need to get up into in order to make this 500 and I think a 75 meter shot. Um, what we are going to be looking for here is right over where the zip line is. You're going to look for these spotlights and push in some. And up here, there's a double A gun and another Jaeger. And again, you can see that with the icon. I am going to put away my binoculars, take out my sniper rifle. That's a lot more helpful than the Model D was. And here we go. We got him in the nose or something. <laughs> so we only needed the 575 meters. And let's see what we got. We got 606 meters, more than enough. That means we get to move on to our very last long shot of the campaign. 
I'll see you there. This last mission is not so much a mission as it is a tying up of loose ends, which just seems appropriate for some reason. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to have to shoot Muller, uh, while he's in his car. And that's a little bit difficult because that makes him a fast moving target. And there are a lot of people around him, so you really need to make sure you're pointing the right direction or you're just not even too many degrees to your left because you might end up failing the mission because you didn't get him. Um, but it takes some patience. It's kind of annoying sitting here and having to wait for him because I'm going to show you what it is very slowly. We're really going to be paying attention to follow my eyes over to there. This little building is where he needs to pass by in order for us to even begin thinking about shooting. Um, cause if it's anywhere before here, it's just shy of the, uh, amount we need. It's only on this other side of the building that we can possibly get our gold medal. All right. Looks like he's, well, not even halfway. Um, hi girl. I like your shirt. I like your stand gun. I need one of those. Yeah. It's almost halfway there. Hey. How are you? Doing good? You want to talk? Want me to just hold very uncomfortable eye contact? Okay. All right, he's getting close, so you distract me. Shush. And he's at 389. Okay. So I might want to go ahead. Oop, let's not kill ourselves here. Get my sniper rifle out. And we're just going to push it in and wait. And here red means go. So hopefully we'll get it. All right, let's see. Are we winners? So help me for real. Okay, remember what I was saying? You don't want to do this and you probably want to pick a different gun because the Winchester just takes a little bit of time. Oh, please stay stuck on your car. Thank you. I needed that. Aw, leg shot. That wasn't very satisfying, but it's a gold medal either I way. Go. Good mm -hmm. plenty more where he so there it is. You've gotten all of your gold medal long shots in Sniper Elite 5's campaign. Thanks for watching my first how-to video. I'd love to cover some more Sniper Elite gameplay, so leave a comment below letting me know what you'd like to see next. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See you soon.